Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Manoj Web, where my goal is to make your front-end life easier. In today's video, I'll be going over my coding experience in the TSC regionals. Today I was planning on making it the uh, what's it called board game design showcase, but unfortunately I'm having some camera difficulties, so I couldn't use my normal camera to record it, and my phone doesn't have enough space. So I'm going to make it my coding experience video today and next week hopefully I'll make the board game design video. So I'm sorry if you're looking out for that but next week I'll, make, I'll try to post the board game design video. But today we'll be talking about my co coding experience in the TSA regionals. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so what happened with the coding thing was first of all we had a written test uh, written test on there. So on Friday, which is when my uh, experience, when my regionals happened, I went to my uh, testing room and I took a test, multiple choice test. It was extremely easy. The test took like three to four minutes. No, not three to four minutes, what am I saying? It was fifty questions. It took like fifteen minutes and he had two hours allocated for it. It was really easy. Questions were like, how do you make a for loop in Scratch? What block do you use? Repeat. And what is used to make something run like five times? A for loop, right? So those were, those were the kind of questions. They were really easy. There was some kind, some binary and bin involved, but not really too much. So it was really easy. They didn't test on that day. But unfortunately, some people were having connection issues because it was online and that led to some problems. So they made it a different written test, uh, written test on paper. Uh, well, multiple choice test. It was a multiple choice test on online, but now they made it a multiple choice test on paper for the next day. So we went back next day and did another multiple choice test because some people are having some connection problems. That test was extremely hard. It was really related to the history of computer science, how it all started. A lot of the work was guessing for me. A lot of them predicted edu educated guesses, but a lot, of, a few of them were guesses as well because I didn't know anything about a few of them. It was like, what was the first commercially used, uh, first commercially used computer? I think I chose Univac, which was the correct answer. It was an educated guess, but my thinking process was different. I was thinking uni as in university, but we can ignore that. So that was the first part, a multiple choice test. That that was used to decide which teams qualified for the semifinals, which was the next day, and that was used to decide which teams uh, qualified for state. So we passed the preliminaries for the semifinals. We my team qualified, and we went for the coding test. On the coding test, we had one hour, I think, one hour to do three problems. They gave us three problems which you had to do. All of them were extremely easy. I mean, two of them were extremely easy. One of them, the second problem, the whole room was stuck on. It was like, find the nth tetrahedral items. So they gave us a number, which is the number of tetrahedrals. And they told us to find the number of items within the tetrahedral. Our, my team did not understand what I was talking about. The other two, we finished in like one to two minutes. That one, nobody was able to figure it out. We got stuck on there for so long. Like we were still trying to figure it out. While we were doing it, another team did it. Like two other teams finished it. I heard like one of the other teams saw that on hacker hacker the same problem, so they figured it out. But two other teams already did it, and they finished before us. And there can only be two teams that qualify for state. So they went on to state, and we didn't qualify for the semifinals. So yeah, that's how the test was. Their coding portion was extremely easy. Two of them were extremely easy. Third one was like the medium problem on uh, lead code. If you do lead code. It was a medium problem. The other two were like even below really easy problems on lead code. We practiced with lead code for our competition, but it was like way too easy. Tetrahedral, we just didn't understand the question itself because it was really confusing. It was telling us, find the number of items within the tetrahedral. We don't know what that means, what it means by number of items within the tetrahedral. So we couldn't solve that. And next year we're gonna try again. And next year we're gonna qualify for state. So yeah, that's how the coding competition went. If you have any questions about it, you can write them in the comments. If you have any suggestions for next year, some resources that we can use, please write them in the comments. I would love any suggestions. And that's pretty much it. See you next time.